Hi, my name is Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. And this video is about um, nervous system exhaustion. And this um, condition is um, not diagnosed ever in the United States. It's very much unknown, and but it's in the research. When I say research, I mean PubMed.gov, where there's over 20 million research articles, and 6,000 articles are uploaded every day. And in the research, it goes by two different names. One is neuroinflammation, and the other name is central sensitivity syndrome, or a CSS. So the cause of this, just think of your whole nervous system as being completely exhausted. Every single nerve cell could be inflamed, uh, could be deficient in nutrients. Um, and you know, when you have nerve signals going from the brain down the body of stress and traffic jams and stressful job and kids, um, those signals get greased up. And just like an athlete, like a basketball player, keeps shooting baskets, they're greasing up the signal from their brain to their hands and their arms to always make the shot. So when you're driving down the road and you're stressed out, you're greasing up the nerve signals that say stress. And um, so our modern lifestyle is one of the causes and it's very significantly, significantly a major cause of central sensitivity syndrome or neuroinflammation. Now, in the past, um, with some of my earlier videos, I would just call it brain fry. Like your brain is fried. But um, as I give this video now, about four or five months ago, I've been to several seminars. I've um, been working with new products that are on the market for the nervous system. And it's a much bigger picture than just your brain being fried or your eyes being tired. We're talking about the whole nervous system. Now, in the research, it talks about um, diseases or, you know, disease conditions that are caused by the nervous system being inflamed. And I only wrote 14 of them here. And these are diagnoses unto themselves, but the cause would be the nervous system being um, inflamed. So I'm just going to say them as I go through. Uh, chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia syndrome, interstitial cystitis, which is a bladder problem, um, uh, reflex sympathetic dystrophy, which is a pain problem, um, irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, PTSD is post-traumatic stress disorder, and uh, tension, headaches, so like muscular tension back here, causing you know headaches anywhere but coming from the neck, um, migraines, uh, TMJ disorders, the jawbone being um, causing problems, restless leg syndrome. There's also um, another leg, uh, re like a restless leg syndrome, like during the night, intermittent um, leg movement. Okay, but it's not the same as restless leg syndrome, but it also can be caused by uh, CSS. MCS stands for multiple chem chemical sensitivity. So I've seen this where people are reacting to perfume and uh, cleaning solution smells, you name it, MCS. Here's PMS, um, also known as primary dysmenorrhea. Um, here's another one, female urethral syndrome, which is like a chronic UTI. And I've seen this now with this new information. I've had women who um, we took care of their um, UTI using supplements for the immune system. So, and over the course of three months, it's gone, but then it comes back. And I've hit, you know, chronically, UTI symptoms, chronically, but now that I know about the nervous system, I've been able to help these women and um, take care of the symptoms because the nerve si signals were just saying, hey, the bladder's inflamed or the urethra's inflamed. So we had to retrain the nervous system to not be inflamed, to not send the signal to tell, you know, the bladder to be inflamed. It, I, don't hope, I hope you follow what I'm saying. But the nervous system controls everything. And if you have an organ that's been sick for five years with constant irritation, inflammation, maybe even an infection, you take care of the bladder. The bladder could be 100% fine, but the nerve signals are constantly irritating it. So you got to fix the nervous system. Okay, and that down, down here we have myofascial pain syndrome. So muscle connective tissue pain syndrome. Now, that's in the research, but I've discovered some of my own just working with patients in the last um, six, seven months. And I'll, I'll, I'll share a few with you, but, and, and this is very interesting. 
but sloppy handwriting. And I've talked to people, I test people, we do the um, biofeedback muscle testing procedure. I have people write their name and they can't hold their arm up at the same time when they're writing their name. And um, that means that their nervous system is so inflamed, it's so uh, dysfunctional that they can't even do this at the same time, keep their arm up and write their name. So, and when I do this, their arm goes weak, they say, you know, my handwriting used to be so nice. And um, over the years, it's gotten sloppier and sloppier. That's your nervous system. Um, another thing I have people do with our muscle testing procedure is I have them look at two objects at the same time. And maybe I'll, like across the hall or across the room, there'll be like a doorknob and a light switch. So I have them look at both objects and they can't hold their arm up while looking at two objects at the same time. And then I find a supplement for them and I have several options, but they hold on to the supplement and then they look at the two objects and they can keep their arm up and they feel it. They feel their eye, eyes are working better. The signals in their brain are smoother. And even if they're looking at two objects, their eyes are going back and forth. They can hold their arm up at the same time. I actually have discovered 18 different testing procedures where people have to hold their arm up. Another example is I just say their name and they're listening and their arm goes weak. Or they say their name and their arm goes weak. They can't hold it up. And I personally have been through this myself. Uh, my fiance is a, a chiropractor. She does the same work that I do. And um, she tested me with, you know, with this procedure. And three months ago, I couldn't hold my arm up and say my name at the same time. My nervous system was so shot, so stressed out. And it's pretty profound. And it's taken months to, uh, to recover from this. And again, it's just modern lifestyle. That's what it comes down to. And even though my diet's been good for, you know, 15 years, I've been taking supplements every day for my different organs, for the heart, for the liver, for the gallbladder. I've never specifically addressed the nervous system. And um, one other point, like being a chiropractor, um, I'm trained to um, adjust the spine and adjust like one segment of the spine to relieve the pressure off the nerve. And um, it's very, you know, obviously it's very therapeutic. But with this new information right here, I just want to impart this idea to you. What about relieve the pressure off the whole nervous system? So chiropractic adjustments help those, the spine. It's very, you know, it's, it's great stuff. But um, the whole nervous system may need to be nourished. So um, nervous system exhaustion. If you live in America and you work and you have a, couple, you have a kid or maybe you're stressed out, you have a tough relationship with somebody, um, you probably have this. And um, the only way to fix it was supplements. Let me tell you a story. I have a friend, I told him about this, I tested him. He was weak, um, just listening or talking, and I uh, recommended some supplements. Within a week, he already felt better. But he's a triathlete, so he's always exercising. He told me that he would wake up in the morning feeling tired. So he would go run six miles to try to wake up his body. Well, with this information, he, reali he realized that's not what he needs to do. He needs to relax. He needs to rest and prevent inflammation in the body. He's still a triathlete. He still competes. But um, currently he's doing uh, shorter competitions and he's um, resting appropriately and he's not overdoing anything. So if you're into... Um, sort of like calming stress relieving activities you may um, want to look at doing that more for this um, condition and it's not a matter of going to the gym to exercise more or uh, starting running or anything like that you may want to calm you know slow down do less exercise so i hope this if this is extremely important if you know anybody that's stressed out you know send this to them um, and if you need help you can contact us here in Ann Arbor and I'm trying to get the I'm trying to spread the word as much as I can this is extremely important and I only really got into it um, in June and July of 2015 as I record this video it's it's um, mid-December 2015 so it's only been six months and it's super profound so I hope this helps and please uh, spread the word thanks